of egg rules. I've done all sorts of crazy. And today I'm going to be showing you how to survive in the harsh climate of the Nimbin area. I'll be crossing uncharted waters and facing the dangerous natives. This is Man vs. Wild. being dropped into the deep forest surrounding Nimbin. From there I'll make my way into the town and hopefully find rescue. Okay, I've just been dropped off and it's always good to check your bearings. I like to use Google Maps for this. Google Maps requires a Wi-Fi or 3G connection. Can't stay around here too long. Well, the hippies and stoners catch up soon. I need to find food before I can cover any ground. I had made a pack lunch, but I left it at home. As I climb down the treacherous slopes, I spot a stream. I hurry down, hoping to find some food. Oh, look, what's that down there? Oh, look. Uh, this here is a little bit of, little bag of cocaine. Uh, you find these all around Nimbin, but unfortunately, not a recommended food source. Let's put it back. Let's keep moving. Looks like we're going to have to climb this really steep cliff. Uh, very dangerous, do not try this at home. We really need to find some real food now. Oh look, what's that? Oh yes, two minute noodles. That's dinner. Cool. Must mean there's a two minute noodle tree around here. Let's see if I can get some more. Yes. Oh look. Um, these are better cooked, um, but you can't eat them raw, just, just like this. <laughs> oh, unflavored. Oh. Luckily I found the packet of chicken flavoring and it was bearable. Full of energy, I walked past a banana tree and all the way to a huge lake. soon discovered a nearby jetty that could possibly help me to get across. Looks like I'm gonna have to cross. But uh, I don't want to get my new clothes dirty or wet, so looks like I'm gonna have to build a raft. Much, but it should do. Let's give it a go. After giving my jacket and bag to my cameraman Eugene, I begin to enter my makeshift raft. I'm confident this is gonna work. I was wrong. Ah! Got my paddle! Ah! <laughs> Oh, I need to get warm, you know, before hypothermia kicks in, kicks in some snow jumps. I think I'll ditch the raft idea and just go with the board. 
Right, here goes. Ooh. Ooh, it's gunky. And it's cold. I make it to the raft, but struggle to get on board. I'm not very good at this. Whoa! I finally get on, sort of. It seems to be working quite well, actually. I attempt to get on the board. Damn it! I then attempt the doggy paddle. Quite well. Let's go. Thanks. Right. Let's go. Oh yeah. A road. I'm starving after all that exercise. Let's go find some food. I've spotted a big yeah. juicy snake. Get him. Oh, oh. My heart is oh, oh no! Gotta kill them in the most inhumane way. I bash their snakey brains in. I sling the snakes across my neck and continue on. I can finally hear the sounds of Nimbin in the distance. Oh man. I'm really thirsty. I think I'll drink my own pee. Oh. This is my pee. Here goes. Now nightfall in Nimbin, and uh, the people in Nimbin are very drunk at this time, stoned and drunk. So, gotta be quiet. Gotta be very, very careful. However, as I get to the other side, I spot one of the natives. <laughs> I have to stay perfectly still. We are way too close to my liking. I think we should move away. I want to get as far away from those creatures as possible. I do not want to get an encounter with them. I guess this... I have to shelter under the safety of these phone boxes. There's definitely something outside. Oh, it's frightening. I think that I think the native is back. Not safe here. I'm gonna have to find another shelf. Are you okay? I think we lost him. 
That was as close as you want to get. This looks like an okay shelter. It's gonna have to do. I settled down for the night, hoping that the native doesn't come back. sleepless night but um, everyone's returned to their hungover selves so safe to get moving. Let's go. I need to find a car that will actually stop for me. A rare thing in Nimbin. A road. Yes. My ticket out of here. Oh. Missed it. Unfriendly in Nimbin they are. Unfriendly. 